My 29 M wife 28 F of 5 years together for 12 cheated 2 months ago and has been doing everything right ever since, but I feel like our marriage is done. Wife cheated on me 2 months ago. One out drinking with her friends happens rarely despite asking her several times to stay home with me that night and spend time with our 2 year old son. Apparently at the bar this dude bought her several drinks and she got drunk as hell, which was extremely atypical of her. Her friends had a bad feeling about this and tried to bring her home but she insisted she would take a cab and her friends eventually left her alone with the guy. Well as it turns out she went home with him. The whole time I was blowing up her phone, dozens of texts and calls, and I kept asking her friends where she was but I got no answer from them. I had never been so worried in my life, holy duck. Then she comes back at 3 am reeking of alcohol and covered in tears. She confessed to everything right at the ducking door, every single detail. She didn't even know this asshole's name yet liked him enough to go to his house and duck him on his bed. She said as soon as her head cleared up she broke down in tears over what she just did and took a cab home. Now me, I was ducking enraged but didn't want to say or do anything since I knew I would probably go to jail if I did. I calmly told her to shower and go to sleep, then I took off my wedding ring and got the duck out of the house. Just went around driving for a bit, screaming in the car, etc. Meanwhile she's blowing up my phone with tons of messages and voicemails apologizing and begging me to come back. I come back a few hours later and she's awake, still sobbing and mumbling. I asked her what we would do now and she swore to do anything and everything to regain my trust. I was of mind to divorce immediately but I loved my wife and connected with her more strongly than with anyone else. I didn't forgive her yet but gave her a chance to try. She was ecstatic but still in tears, saying she doesn't deserve it but will make the most of it, and I guess she's been true to her word. She doesn't go out to bars anymore without me, she gave me complete access to all of her stuff, she only drinks when I'm there, and she has been giving 200% to please me cooking all my favorite meals, buying me tons of gifts, continuously apologizing, doing more housework to give me more free time, even writing poems asking for my forgiveness. She even confessed what she had done to her friends, who have been avoiding her more and more out of disgust for what she did to me. She also told her parents what she did on her own accord, and explained that she was raised better than that and is trying to save her marriage. Not once did she try to blame the cheating on me or remove any responsibility from herself. She didn't try to justify or rationalize what she had done because she knew there was nothing bad about our relationship she could go off of. She accepted full blame and owned up to her actions. She said she's willing to do whatever it takes for as long as it takes to save our marriage. She still cries from time to time out of remorse, like before bed, during showers, sometimes just while cooking. This sounds like the perfect post-cheating course of action, I know. She is doing everything flawlessly. Despite this, I just can't get the image out of my head. Every time she tries to be intimate I think of her and him, clam up and then push her away not violently. Since that night we haven't so much as hugged. She has tried to kiss me before but like usual I just distance myself. I've been sleeping in the guest bedroom while she begs me to come to her and then cries herself to sleep every night. I know that she's truly and genuinely sorry, that her remorse is real. These aren't crocodile tears that most cheaters cry when they get caught. She did everything right. She confessed to me immediately, changed her habits, and did everything I asked. She sometimes asks me if I've forgiven her yet and I always say not yet. I mentioned possibly divorcing to her a few weeks ago and she broke down, saying she will never love another man, will never allow another man to raise our child that I mean everything to her and her whole world would just shatter into pieces if she lost me. I think out of all the people who have ever cheated and want to regain the trust of their partner, my wife has done the best. Despite this, I just can't forget about she did. I wake up in the morning and the first thing I think of is her in his bed with him. I have trouble sleeping now since the thought of them having s time keeps me up. I feel nauseous and numb all the time. The singular thought some other guy ducked my wife is stuck in my mind all day. I don't want this to keep happening but I can't find any way to strike it from my mind. Every so often I feel like unleashing all my anger on her, calling her all the names in the book, telling her I hate her. Lately I find myself on a local pier, 
just staring out into the ocean for hours at a time. I go there to just stop thinking about what she did and escape for a while. Then when I go home the misery starts again. I don't know if I love my wife anymore. At times I feel such a strong hatred for her that I almost vomit knowing that I married her. Sometimes I see her as she was before the cheating and in those moments I can love her again. They don't last longer than a few seconds though, I feel like I'm the bad guy for wanting a divorce. She has been doing everything correctly since the infidelity so I should forgive her, right? That's what most people would probably do, I guess, but I can't stop thinking about her and the other guy. I know that as long as I keep thinking about them, this marriage won't last. Our anniversary is in 9 days, this keeps triggering memories of our relationship, the wedding, the birth of our son, trips we took, happy days, etc. And now it just hurts, a really heavy pain in my chest and throat to think of them. We've been together since high school, fully committed and faithful, I just can't grasp how she could do this to me, how she could make a series of bad decisions, one after the other, to end up cheating. My mouth feels dry whenever I think of how that night must have gone. How she must have kissed him, walked into his home, to his bedroom, laid down on his bed, took off her clothes, whatever. A lot of the time I feel like killing myself or killing her or killing the other guy. I fantasize about cheating on her to make things even. Sometimes I imagine just hitting her over and over but I would never do that. I never laid a finger on my wife, I don't hurt people. I've never had violent or angry thoughts like this before. My wife's altery duck with my head more than should be possible. I don't feel like the same person anymore. I feel hollow all the time. I'm here to ask, is there any way I can bring myself to forgive her? Or should I just divorce her and move on, find a woman who won't cheat on me? I want my son to grow up with the belief that cheating is totally unacceptable. I feel like if I stay with my wife, my son will learn that it's okay to forgive cheating, and I don't want him to ever stay with a woman who cheated on him. At the same time I keep living every day hoping I might have an epiphany, that I can truly forgive her and love her again. Seems like a hopeless fantasy though, I don't want any suggestions to check out our surviving infidelity, I've seen it already and don't want advice on there. I'm thinking about therapy for myself. I'm sort of reluctant to do marriage counseling since I fear the counselor will try to find a way to spin the whole thing on me and blame me for creating an environment that led her to cheat, not going to tolerate hearing that beal shit. Please help me. I don't know what to do. I'm sick of feeling sick. TL, doctor, wife cheated on me two months ago, drunken one night stand. Confessed immediately, has been doing everything perfectly to regain trust. I can't get the image of them having s time out of my head and it's killing me. What should I do? Update I figured out what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to her about possibly making it even somehow. I'll see what she says, and depending on her response I might try to reconcile or divorce without a second thought. Also I'm going to ask her for the full truth about this guy. I find it weird that she remembers he's divorced 33 and not in shape but can't remember his name. Never mind this is a bad idea. This was my vengeful side talking. I'm not going to try and make it even. I'm just going to get the full truth out of her and then steal myself to suggest divorce. Yes, I want her to suffer for what she did. As one user said in a PM, she will suffer most if I leave her. In her own words, she said that would destroy her. But I'm not divorcing her just to spite her, no. I'm doing it because I don't want to remain in a ruined marriage. I'm doing it because she betrayed me and I'm not willing to be a doormat and excuse her behavior. I probably won't change my mind, but I'll come back with an update later anyway.